I just gotta send it Like, there's other Discord channels I also uh, uh, promote too. Like, it's mine, it's Amber's, there's three raccoons, a cosmonaut Casey. Um, used to be Spacey Casey, but she changed her name to cosmonaut Casey. Because apparently there's a country singer with the same uh, nickname, Spacey Casey. God, God damn it, Cerulea. I, I, I just sold a quote.
All right, so ho hopefully it's working now. My goodness, I hope. So there's apparently 13 people watching. So. Well, wait, really? 13 people? I've been we've been silent this entire time, and we got 13 people watching. We have eight people in this call, and 11 people are watching without volume. Are you saying mm. I'm more popular when I'm quiet? <laughs> people actually want to watch my streams when they can't hear me. This. All right, now we know what to do. Ah. I think it's just because I'm here once again. Just yesterday you got mm. featured, and I was there. Just saying. Hold, hold up. <laughs> I, I gotta. I'm, I'm gonna turn on the AC. Here. I'll be right back. He's getting stuffy in here. I mean, uh, in that case, I'm gonna grab my last slice of pizza. Hey, it was seven uh, in the right, morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's getting really warm here in Arizona. Hmm. It's supposed to be 111 on Thursday. <sighs> wow, Caramel. Okay, uh, let me see wrong. if I could translate that to Celsius. 111 would be... 45. 45 something. Yeah, 40, yeah in the mid 40 Celsius. No! I ain't ever coming to that. <laughs> Don't ever come to Arizona. It's a shithole. Hey, now it, it, that doesn't exaggeration. It's great in the fall and the in the winter. In the in summer, all. that's where you know you could literally, and I've seen this happen, fry eggs on rocks outside. Yes. Uh, yeah, I had neighbors who actually crack an egg on a rock and fry it. Or bake I cookies. Think this is in our oh, car I actually had the sole of my boots melt on the street once. Ooh. We do have the asphalt melting sometimes that does happen yeah okay so well it only happened during like the that heat record yeah with the heat record shit that was funny okay while caramel is chatting up with runt sushi oh dear what are you up yeah. to Remember, sushi. you are um... in the cell with boopity or, or boopito dorendo and serif serif is um <laughs> trying to keep to himself but he seems to Constantly scratch, uh, be scratching his forearm. Mm, can I maybe talk to him, see if everything's okay? Uh, you could attempt to. You're so friendly today. The way it should be. You all could learn a lesson. <laughs> okay. When you approach uh, Seraph, um, mm -hmm. he, he sees you approach and then he just kind of like uh, turns to the side and tries to hide his arm. Standard, yeah. He hurt me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, you could tell Sushi's the kind of DD player that's only in it for the combat. <laughs> and when the boss combat, <laughs> no. I'm exactly the opposite combat. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know if he doesn't want to talk. Fine. There's nothing else I can really do, is there? You um, can try! Don't take no for an answer, Sushi. No, he knows what he wants. Yeah. Prince Dorendo is kind of muttering to himself. Sorry, and Boopido just uh, seems to be like walking around in circles in the cell. So everyone's crazy, that's what you're telling me. You could assume that. Don't forget that just like maybe an hour ago, there was a fight while everybody was eating and stool was thrown over the edge to be uh, attacked oh, by spiders. Yeah, that was um... You see, it's so <laughs> easy to forget about stool. He's so unimportant. I know, right? <laughs> He's trying to he dig up his corpse to pish on the asses. Oh. Stool, why? Yeah, he's not fine, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. Durandle, <clears throat> Durandle kind of looks at you, and he kind of like looks at the gate to make sure that to see, see if there's any dark elves nearby, and goes back to you. And he says that um, if we're ever able to make it out of here, I promise you, once I return to my goat elf kingdom, what was it called again? Hold up, I gotta find the name of this kingdom. It was really long. Had like two L's in it or something. Now we're in Denvian. 
is N E L R I N D E N V A N E. No, yeah, now we're in then vain. Now we're in the vein. Uh, like, like he guarantees that he could, uh, you know, handsomely reward her. That his people will be grateful to have him back. Of course, okay. once they defeat the the evil wizard that corrupted him. But he cannot remain here. The, once the dark elves find out that he's a gold elf, he has no idea what the kind of horrors will do to him. Fair. Torture the baby. And no. Bupido <laughs> hears this and says, like, don't worry, I'm sure everything will be okay. And he doesn't really seem to be upset much at anything. He's just kind of like walking in circles out of boredom. I would do that. Okay, you want to follow Bupido in a circle walk? <laughs> yeah, actually, let's do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Building up report. Okay, so earlier and Bupido try to like just create a hole in the floor by walking the same path. Going back to you, uh, Star King. Okay, since I'm in the cell and then Shashar kind of gave me a prep pep talk, uh, can I ask Shashar what he can help us to get escape that the that cell? Um, he kind of scratches his head and thinks for a second, and then he kind of shrugs and he mentions he admits that he's not very knowledgeable and you know lock mechanics, and he refuses to fight. He believes that. Physical combat is the antithesis of what is uh, what he has learned through his enlightenment to regain his uh, sanity. Great. But like all he could offer is a guide through the Underdark. Great. I have a pussy and two unconscious people in myself. God damn it. Trade um, okay. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How long do they still have left until they wake up? Um, unless you have some kind of medical training to help them wake up, you're going to have to wait till the morning. Can I classify them as creatures? They are Just. creatures. <laughs> they are creatures. Uh, is it possible I could use my healing hand on one of them? Is healing hand magic based? Because you are unable to cast magic in here. What oh, that's I, right. I, I forgot about that part. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Blech. There goes that. <laughs> that strategy. You're going to be bored a bit longer. It's <laughs> <laughs> a crazy bird. Uh, okay. Uh, can I try and break the chain somehow? Uh, you, you, you could attempt. It. Uh, okay. Do a, a straight up strength check. There's a d20 uh, plus whatever your strength bonus is. I 13 plus 1, so d20. Here we go. Uh, 13. You're unable to break the chain. Yeah. You won't be able to get another chance until tomorrow. Well, crap. Nah, that's. <laughs> That's 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 unfortunate. Well, I guess I. You tired yeah. yourself out. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I end my turn until these two wake up and the other guy decides not being a pussy. All right. All right. Uh, try to trade him. Like, like uh, I just mm -hmm. almost broke these chains for you. Can you at least tell me something? Just he is that. valuable and valid. Leave him alone. <laughs> All right, Caramel. Are you still going to be talking up a Runt, or are you going to try do, doing something else? Uh, Runt seems like he's a little miffed right now, but I think we've gotten pretty far, so I'm going to ask Jim talk to Jim Jar. What are you going to ask him? I want to ask Jim Jar why he doesn't trust Topsy and Turvy. And Before this, why does this remind me when you say Jim Jar, I just want to say Jimmy Johnson, then I get hungry. What Jimmy the fuck? <laughs> What? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, jo Jimmy John's is a sandwich place here in Arizona. Oh, okay. It, they're they're kind of like Subway, but good. Also run by a Supreme <laughs> Douche Lord, but yeah, Subway does deserve that dig. Um, okay, yeah, what are you asking? Uh, oh, why he doesn't trust Topsy and Turvy? Yes. 
Okay, he just, he just kind of glances over Topsy and Turvey, who are just still kind of muttering to themselves. And he kind of like uh, motions for you to lower your head so he can whisper, whisper to you. Um, are you going to lower your head? He is a deep gnome, so he's pretty short. I can uh, get down on my horse knees, I guess. How the fuck do horses do that? Okay, so you're going to crouch down. Yeah, that works. Um, my knees are all creaky and poppy. Yeah, he mentions that um, he knows you're hiding something. Okay, granted, everybody here is hiding something, but there's something off about those two. They may they they may seem small, but there's something dangerous about them. Dangerous. Hmm. Can I ask him to elaborate further? Uh, he just mentioned he just said that it's a gut feeling he has. Hmm. Well, that. Jim Jar, you're fucking useless. Uh, let's see. Um, he does say, <laughs> like, you know, oh, and next time on Kitchen Duty, he dares you to try to steal some uh, some kitchen utensils. Specifically, some of the, like, just, uh, like, um, there's, like, sharp sticks that are used, like, in forks, as, as in place of forks, but they're not pronged. They're single sticks. And... Because he thinks he might be able to do something to the locks if he has something to work with. And he's willing to uh, bet you his uh, two gold coins if you're able to do it. Oh, he had five last time. Yeah, well, he's only betting you two this time. I would not take that bet as is. I would only accept it if he goes and talks to them and tries to make friends. Oh, my God. Fuck's sake, <laughs> Can I just say it? This is what my character would do. Um, he he says, "Forget it," and he walks away. All right, fuck you, Jim Jam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have what use have I for money? Well, well, well. I, I don't know you guys yet. Keep that in mind. All right, and <laughs> sushi. Are you going to continue just kind of walking around in circles? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's fine. You, you can't judge her right now. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not judging at all. I just say this funny. I don't care if you judge me. I'm walking around in circles, so I'm gonna enjoy it. That's what her character would do. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> Next day, um, everybody's returned back to their full hit points. Yeah, me. Yay. These mad men and women are awake. I don't even know what my hit points are. Oh, uh, what's you should know your max hit points at least. I do not actually. Okay. Stalking. Uh, Stalking. Wh what's your constitution? We went over bonus? this the last time. Yeah, we, we, we did. <laughs> and you said you had to get it down. Thirteen with the modifier. Okay, your uh, hit point. No, it wouldn't be thirteen. Yes, you should have a base hit points of eight. At um at level one plus whatever your constitution bonus is. Nine. Okay, got it. So got it. Your, yeah. Okay, so you got nine hit points oh. max. Yes. Write that yes. down, please. I, I am writing it down. I didn't didn't know that. Part. Good boy. You don't want to make him more. Okay. Cranky. Now I remember, Rin. We also had trouble with your hit max hit points. So you know what your max hit points are? Yeah, there's seven. Okay. Anybody else need to know what their max hit points are? Nope. No, I know about no, mine. Because I get that down, <laughs> like a good player. Douchebag. <laughs> this is my first time playing, and I didn't know that part, so... <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Never. We're gonna fight. We're Do we need to fight. put you in a cell, and I'll try and make oh, friends yeah. with both of you? You mean, you mean in the in real life? Because either way, I'm gonna play dirty. <laughs> <laughs> both. I'll watch. Of course you're gonna watch. <laughs> she's being a fucking right, dwarf so. that is self-sacrificing and she's gonna watch. <laughs> and I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Alright, before the next event, does anybody want to do something? Um, nah. Okay, Sushi says no. Cranky, do you want to do something before the next event? Can I maybe talk to my cellmate? Oh, uh, you have Boopido, Dorendo, Seraph, and Sushi's character. Um, the so-called Prince. Prince Dorendo, okay. The gold elf turned Kogoth. 
What are you going to say to him? I'm going to say to him, do you have any proof that can basically make me make sure that I know you're not lying, that you're a prince? Give me some evidence <laughs> that you're indeed just a prince that has been transformed. Like what? Um, yeah, he kind of sits up and he shows his open palms to you and claims like, all I have was my kingdom and that is taken away from me. I don't know what you expect. Way to be a dick, Cranky. To be honest, a liar would be like over-exaggerating how powerful he was. But he's being humble. Um, do you want to do an insight check? Insight is used to like, if you want to tell if somebody's a lion. Sure. Now, here's a problem with insight, and I don't know how well you guys are able to roleplay your characters just yet, and this is the problem I have. Here's an example. If a rogue is going to search for traps on a door, and then they roll, they roll, let's say they roll a, a 20, and then I say, like, you don't find any traps. Well, they rolled a 20, so the player is very confident there's no traps, and they'll just open the door. But if the player were to roll a 10... And I say, you don't find any traps. Although the character would no think there's no traps, the player is going to be cautious because they rolled a 10, so they're thinking maybe there is a trap, and that will affect the way they play the character. Same mm -hmm. thing with insight. If you were to roll really good, and if I say, you think he's telling the truth, you believe it. But if you rolled low, and if I said the same thing, you might that might affect the way you roleplay your character. So I don't know if you guys are good enough role players to not let that affect you. Me, no. Okay. Hmm. So for Sushi, I should roll her insight checks. <laughs> no, I mean, th th this isn't a slight against Probably. you. This is, like A lot of people have this problem. It, it happens yeah, like in every D&D yeah. &E game. Especially with searching for traps. Like, oh, you don't find any traps. Okay, well, I'm still going to stand beside it on the back and then do all these... Mm. Uh, con Contingency plans, just in case it blows up. But so, cranky. Should I trust you to roll this insight, or should I do it myself? I will roll it. Okay, roll insight. Uh, which die? It's a d20 plus whatever your insight bonus is. Well, I don't have an insight bonus. Thirteen. Thirteen. You think he's telling the truth? Okay. Okay. So that ends my turn, then, or can um, I type is, something is, else? You could carry on with the conversation if you want. Hmm. Now, here's something like uh, nobody asked to do this, so I'm just gonna like, throw this out there as a as a freebie. He claims his kingdom is. Now, Rindavain, you could try to do a history check to see if you heard of this place. I will do that. A d20 again? A d20 plus your history. History is zero, so... 18! Okay. You haven't heard of Narindavain. Then again, he does claim to be a goat elf, and knowledge on goat elves is very, very rare. Am I still shackled? Yes. Yeah. Can I maybe try to just break free? You could attempt it, yes. Give me a straight up strength check. Strength check, that is a d20 again. d20 plus your strength bonus. That's plus three. Okay, it is a 16. Plus you are plus unable plus. to break the chain. Hmm. Oh. Damn, how strong do you have those yeah, chains? Yeah, yeah. Now, that was a 16 oh, before you added your plus 3, right? Yeah. Okay, so it would have been 19 total? Mm -hmm. You are unable to break the chain. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, have to, to be roll honest, I'm a that big massive like construction, so I think they put the strongest cops on me. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not the same. Maybe we need an arc to break these chains. Mm, let's Same. see. Mm. Well, outside of Cranky, the the other two strongest characters out of the group is possibly Ront and Durendal. Okay. Okay, um, Coco. Yes. I think I'm gonna try to search for anything useful somewhere in this cage we're in. Okay. Uh, you are with Star King and Ren. Yes. Um. Before you roll, I just let you know you're not going to find anything useful in the cage. Hmm. Well, let me rephrase it then. I'm going to see if I can find something useful nearby. Okay, give me a perception check. Perception check. Uh, okay then. Eighteen. Okay. Um, you look outside of the prison cages. You do see the other prisoner cages, like beside and across from you. Uh, you don't see any sentries, no guards nearby outside of the guards in the tower, hanging off the, you know, the, the stalagmite or tight, whatever you call it. Outside of that, you don't see any tools nearby. There is a bridge leading to the guard tower. And of course, if you fall off that bridge, you go into the webs down below. Outside of that, you don't notice anything else. Okay. That is actually useful information. Okay. Ren, you're awake. Yeah. Is there anything you would like yeah. to do? Uh, to kill people. Wait, who was in my cell again besides Star King and Sorelia? Shishar. Shishar. And, and Shishar. Stool used to be there. Stop roaming it in! <laughs> Can we kill the DM? Uh, <laughs> you could attempt to. Go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. <laughs> 18. You fail. <laughs> no. You didn't even look. Uh, I don't know. Um, is there a way to communicate with the people in the other cells beside us? Uh, you could try to speak loudly. Um, but there's not like thin walls or um. Well, it's it's all like... stone. It's all stone walls in the cavern. Okay. Stone. Okay. There are no holes. Okay. Deal. Like the the there is like the doors that are locking you in are just all bars. Okay. Can I go see who's in the cell across from me? Uh, the cell right. across from you is. Okay, you see. Um, boopy doo. Walking around in a circle with Sushi, oh, I'm sorry, uh, with Eldef pacing behind him. Uh, Durendal and the large award forge are chatting with each other while Seref is kind of huddled in the corner scratching his arm. Okay. And I don't mean like lightly scratching his arm, like he's scratching it like he's trying to get something off. Can I talk to the dude scratching? Yeah, you are going to have to speak up, to... but you can try. I, I will try. The guards might be <laughs> get pissed off, though. No, maybe. If you can still try. The other prisoners are going to hear this. Um, unless you have an ability to... I don't think you have any sign language or anything, so... Just so you know, everybody's going to hear you talk. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> How are you going to, going to get his attention? I'm going to yell at him. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you yell at him. Uh, do you, wait, you know you should know his name. So you're gonna yell his name out? Do I know his name? I think I, yeah, we'll assume that you know everybody's name. Okay, yeah, I will use his name and uh, yell out, "Hey, why are you scratching?" 
It's annoying. <laughs> um. Okay, wait, how is he gonna react to this? I'm uh, being in character here, power. okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, he's startled, completely caught off guard from the Ooh. random yelling. In fact, <laughs> Boopity stops pacing and he's also startled and looks in your direction, as okay. does Durendo. Um, Shushar just kind of looks at you confusingly as you're yelling out of the door. And Seraph, the Dark of Dust scratching, covers his arm and... <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that was the start of the sea. Uh, yeah, well, he's gonna tell you to, to fuck off. Oh. <laughs> nice guy. But yeah, well, because me being rude and yelling and stuff, so if Sushi were to ask very nicely, <laughs> maybe she would get an answer. Just saying. I'm right, smart. Right, I follow my own path. But now he might listen because he saw I was a douche and you were just being kind, so you never know. He is a dark elf, though. And she's a dwarf. Yeah, but I'm a dick. Well, you know, that, that's just being a dark elf, really. Yeah. Wait, he's, if he's a dark elf, and I can speak to him in elvish, right? Yeah, you can speak to him in elvish. In fact, you okay. can... Wait, wait. No, dark elves, I think, also speak a deep speech, right? Yeah. Can I speak to him in deep speech? Um, you want to retcon all this and say you were speaking in deep speech? Yeah. Okay, so only people who speak deep speech understands what's going on, but everybody does this here. Um, what's your, your character's name, Rin? Fowlin. Fowlin, this kind of yelling over at the other cage. And um, in deep speech, he says, he says, fuck off. Ocean okay. Madness. Okay. Uh, I say to him, like, I know I'm a dick, but if there's something wrong with you, you need to tell everybody so we can help you. Okay. And he actually cuts you off before you finish. He gets up from his corner. He walks up to the bars, and he actually sticks his arm out and points at you. And he tells you that there is nothing wrong with him. He doesn't need you. And you need to mind your own business. Which arm is he sticking out of the bar? The one he was scratching? No, the other arm. Damn it! He just dance <laughs> playing you. Well, they're both men. Right. Yeah, I'm a dude. I have a dick. <laughs> Thick dick energy. Perfect. Well, I am a teenager, so being impulsive is kind of in character. Well, I just flip him the bird and. He's go like, off. Damn, damn yeah. millennials have no respect. I'm not a millennial. I'm from '95. Uh. <laughs> Wait, well, well, how old would an elf need to be to be classified as a millennial? I wonder. <laughs> oh my god, no! Let's not get into this. Let's not get into this. They're a thousand years old, I guess. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I flip in the bird and gonna sit bothering Sorelia now, so. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I, you flipped me the bird. I flipped him back. There's nothing left to do because I'm annoying. <laughs> Alright, does anybody else want to do something? I want to go to the bathroom, please. I want yeah. to go and... You, you could go to the bathroom if you like. I'd like to take an action. Okay, like, I don't know, are you talking about real life or this? Real life! <laughs> okay, go, 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 you need a potty break, go! Wait, wait, do I roll a day 20 to see if I can go to the bathroom? Okay, hold on. See if you miss. 13! Okay, I'm going. You miss. Yeah. Go, I, I... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ren is going to go relieve the worm. Now, what did you say, Caramel? <laughs> relieve the worm, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I'd like to take an action. Okay, what do you want to do? So, it's with new morning, um, everyone's awake. I'd like to warmly say good morning to Runt. 
He just kind of grunts at you. Back. <laughs> it's, it, does he smile back at me, or? Uh, no. He just grunts. That's fine. I'm still building report. We need that man, damn it. I have a feeling. I can see that Caramel is just trying to win him over. Of course he is. He's the biggest guy in the cell. Plus, he's sad. I don't want that. Well, you could, well, he's he's also much. angry. Yeah, but... Like, all the time. Oh, no. Hey, guys, we're losing viewers. Maybe we should go back on mute. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Coco, am I still able to do an action? Um, you attempted to break your chains already, right? It was mm -hmm. last night. No, that was this morning, because he was unconscious last night. Uh, you can't oh, attempt yeah. to break your chains again, but you could do something if you like. Can I call a guard over to ask him something? Can you what? Call a guard over. Uh, you, you could attempt to. The only guards you see right now are the ones up in the tower. Wait, how far is your dark vision go? Do, you have dark vision, right? <laughs> I don't have dark vision. Do you have any kind of night vision at all? Nope. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, you can't see anything at all. Unless yeah. somebody like brings a light source, you can't really see anything. So I basically, I start smashing against the hills and yelling gar to attract attention. It's reasonable. Okay. Roland. Now, everybody hears a uh, big clanging against the doors. Anybody with dark vision can see that it's the big war forge, like smashing at the gate. Um, it's going to take a moment before anybody shows up. Does anybody want to do something while we're smashing the, the gate? Uh, I, uh, oh! I want to do the same. I want to do the same. Okay. The, the, let's see. The Asimir, um Yeah, it's going to be in the cell across from Cranky. Uh, it begins to also smash the, the gate. Yelling guards. Damn it, trying to steal attention. Oh, oh I'm in these cells, aren't I? I'll join in. <laughs> Sushi machine. <laughs> I'm sorry, You're Elder the Dwarf. Riot. <laughs> I have a legitimate plan. Start King of Sushi. I'm just going to be annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what I'm right. planning. Rin's character would join in if he were here. Hmm. Mm, maybe. I don't know. So she I... just said he was annoying. Yeah, but uh, I don't know what level of annoying. Like, did, did, did Rin's character meet the quota for annoying today? I don't know. Are you going to join in, Caramel? No. Cerulea, are I'm... you going to join in? No, not this time. Okay. But I'm going to ask them. Are there any of those, uh, what are they called? Uh, those big things that hit hard. Quagoths? Quagoths? Yeah, Quagoths. Are there any... Any nearby? Um, you don't see any at the moment. No, oh, never mind then. Okay, well, where's appendix B? I need to make sure I know how this magic item works. Mm, see feet. Uh, instant death. And then pleasant. Uh, um, okay. You begin smashing at the gates. Eventually, Shore Vandry, the, the second in charge, Ivara's lover, walks in. He, no, he doesn't go, go into the gates. He walks to the cells. He does have <clears throat> a lantern with a blue glowing gem in there that's offering light a light source so everybody's able to see. And he has a wand at his side. And he looks back and forth at the cells. And he says, uh, and he asks, like, what the hell's going on? I just keep banging at the gate, and now I'm just screaming the word request. Request? Yeah. Is, is everybody else going to repeat what Cranky's doing? No. Sure. I check on uh, mine if I can. <laughs> Sushi. Sushi. I'm having a legit plan over here. And you're just... <laughs> uh, 
Uh, can I do a perception check on on an item on uh, on the chain? Um, a perception check on the what? On the chain. Like mm -hmm. how do I have any slack on it? Like do I have like room to you, do? You, you do have enough slack to move your arms around mostly f freely. You do, you can't fully extend your arms, but mostly extend them. Mostly extend them, so. Is there a certain distance I can go that will limit me, limit that motion? Like, what is, what's your plan? Let me know what your plan is and I'll let you know if you can do it. Uh, basically, okay, the action is to get him to get as close to my door to be able to basically swing the chain out. Probably grab him by the neck and just pull him in. That is something you could potentially do. You right. have enough slack for that. If you can get him close enough, if you, you All right. if if the dice gods are happy enough with you. All right, I'm gonna pick up <laughs> one of those pebbles that are in the ground, and chuck at it at first. Are yeah, you gonna throw a rock at him? Yeah, get his attention. Okay, uh, roll a d20 to see if you hit him. Okay. Matt. Oh my god! Really? One. Oh my god. And, and <laughs> throw the one. pebble at the guard's face. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We all agreed that if we're going to do the critical fails check, we we got to roll on the disaster chart. This Disagreeable. Um, you guys wanted this. Roll a D100 and pray for a low number. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not again. Oh, oh. D100. 43. Okay, you're fine. Nothing happens. Thank God that's the second time this happened and we've been lucky. Yeah, like if you if you get like ninety five and above, you know, there's a good chance something terrible is gonna happen to your character, possibly die. Yeah. Um like anything above seventy is bad. So just watch out for that. Fuck. Okay. Um, the the pebble slips from your hand and you don't really get to throw it. But um Shore looks over at Cranky's character and Sushi's character and pulls out his wand. He points it at you two and says, quiet down. Now. No. I'll start mm. moving my arm like, come here. Without seeing anything. <laughs> Still trying to get him towards myself. Fucking trolled. <laughs> what are you doing, Sushi? I shall stop what I was doing. Just like slowly back away from the game. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm okay. I chill. I chill. <laughs> Shore tells you to sit quietly. Um, your work is going to start soon enough. He does not approach the gate. Uh, how close is he? How close is he to the to the gates? I mean, proximity wise. Uh, he is approximately like a ten feet equal distance between the gates. So there's a they're twenty. Basically, you're saying they're he's in between. Between the three cells, he's ten feet away from each cell. He's equal distance, like in in the center. Mm -hmm. Okay, damn, mm. that's a long, and that's a fucking long way. God damn it. He's a smart cookie. God damn it. Stupid pebble throw. <sighs> okay, is that the last thing you guys are going to do? Well, I know what I'm going to do just for the sheer uh, unpredictability of it. Oh dear. Going right. to the co going to the corner of a cell, sitting on the ground, just mumbling. Don't take a shit. <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna do. You'll have to Not roll to lie. see if you miss. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so really begins mumbling in the corner. Um, unless anybody else has any other action, sure, it's gonna go away. Nah. I just. Punch the boss really hard to make a load bang. 
Can I talk to him in uh, the speech? Uh, you can attempt to, yes. Yeah. Uh, can I ask him... Uh, wait, what do I want to ask him? Um, what do we know from him already? Not, not much, right? Because I was taking He's the, the lover of the guard. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's okay. the lover of the commander. Um, also, uh, let's see, what do you know about the, okay, about the entire complex in general? You do know that there's 12 draw guards, uh, seven elite guards, which includes Shore and Jolin. There's Ash of the Priestess. There's a contingent of Quigoths. You're not sure how many Quigoths. And there's multiple giant spiders. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to rattle him a bit. Um, can I point to the um, other lover that the... I'm gonna, just going to call her Queen Bitch. Had <laughs> and say, that, <laughs> say to him, like, you're just one mistake away from ending up like him. Are you sure you have nothing to tell us? Can I do that? Uh, yes, you can. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you say that, he kind of like puts his hands on his hips, puffs out his chest, and has the biggest shit-eating grin you've ever seen anybody do. And he says, like, uh, don't ever compare me to trash like that. Okay. Mm. Then I say to him, well... If you're not careful, soon you will be the trash. Because I hate mean people. I hate bullies! <laughs> the, not be careful? Um, he chuckles at that as he reminds you that you are currently in the prison cell and he has command over you. Mm, okay, let me think for a hot minute. <laughs> um... Okay. Um, after he says that, um, Seraph actually speaks out. Oh, okay. And also speaking in Dark Elf. Um, he actually questions uh, Shore about the Supply Patrol. Wondering why the Supply P Patrol hasn't shown up yet. Ooh. Um, in the conversation, like, he mentions that they should have been here several days ago. Ooh. Shar simply waves the question away and says it's none of his concern anymore and calls him a traitor, which instantly angers Seraph. Mm. Break the chain, Seraph! <laughs> um, Seraph Break begins to just like, uh, like, he goes from like zero to a hundred as far as his anger goes and grabs the bars and begins just barking some nonsensical, like, verbiage at Shar. And Char uses his opportunity to point the wand at him and shoot out a gooey glob at Char. It's uh, just so you know what this wand is called. Wait, wait, I had it right here. Sure, it's not wand in quotes. It, it, it's a wand. It, it, it does shoot out a gooey, sticky substance, which does restrain Seraf and pins him against the wall. Huh. That sucks. Um... Okay, I've never been good with bullies. Fuck. Think of this as an erotic novel happening. You just let your mind guide you. Oh, man. Why do you even want to go there? He uh... literally used his wand to shoot out a sticky substance and trap a guy on the okay. wall. Let oh. your heart guide you. Wand of How Biscuit Glob is, my is what it's called. Right how close is he? Uh, still 10 feet away from the cage. Ah, 10 feet. How much is that? Um, three meters. Oh, damn. I flashed a coin. I have, still have, because I never traded it. Uh, I flash him the coin. And I drop it wait, right in front wait, of wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. Rin, Rin. The coin. Didn't you use the coin to break no, the No, you didn't take the coin. That's why I said I still have the coin. Fair enough. I tried to bribe him at the coin, but this wheel was just like, yeah, fuck it, I'm just giving it, gonna give it to you. Yeah, I think you rolled a nat 20 on that. Yeah, I rolled a nat 20. Oh, true, um, yeah. Okay, so I dropped the coin, like, right outside of my cage, where I can still reach it, but he would have to come closer to me. So, like, and then 
I see what he does. Can I do that? So you want to tempt him to approach the cage by dropping the gold coin in front of it. Yeah. Okay, do you say Please. anything? Wait, wait, do you say anything when you drop it? Like, what exactly do you say? Guys, what should I say? I want him to come over. I have a plan in my head. Okay, because I'm just trying to visualize this. He, he's three meters away from each of your cages. He, you know, he has been a bully. He just stuck Seraf to the wall. And now you just drop money in front of your cage. So yeah. say something to the degree of like, uh, this is, well, actually, this is metagaming. I can't really give advice. Or is that metagaming? Now, feel free to talk. Uh, yeah, I... Basically, something to the degree of, is this how um, you stay with your lover? Like, basically, assume saying that she's a prostitute or he's a prostitute or whatever. I don't want him angry. I want him to come over. So I'm just going to say, here's a coin for your trouble. He finally shut up now. Well, he's already pissed off, though, is the problem. No, but, like, he um, gooed the other guy who was rude to me. So that he may have heard that. So I can just say, well, here's a coin for your trouble. Thanks for shutting him up. That's Will he come valid. closer? Uh, Will he come closer? Like that, uh, throw it right in front of the cell door. Um, go ahead and roll me a persuasion check to see if you can convince him to take the coin. Okay, I'm ready. I have a plan, you guys. Okay, 17 plus perception nope. was... No, 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 it's persuasion. 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 Oh, fuck yeah, persuasion. I don't have... <laughs> persuasion is charisma plus yeah. two, that's 19. Boom. Well, that's pretty good. He's going to be pulling out his wand again real soon. Then he points his wand at you Ooh. and tells everybody in your cell to back up. Oh, no. Even me? Yep, you, even you. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just remember, he is an elite Dark Elf warrior. They are... Also, not only are they really great in combat, I would not recommend you guys get into a fight with one at this moment. But I wasn't going to fight him. But, I was going to make his they life They are memorable. also intelligent. Remember the yeah. one that Tree tried to... Um... So, dude, she got a pretty good role, um, well, her character at least, um, and just got completely screwed. Yeah, but I had a different plan. <laughs> okay, okay, this is so probably where I, I come in. Hold on. How, has, he, has he approached the gate where the coin is? Not yet. He pointed the wand um, at Ren, and he told everybody to back away from the gate. Okay. okay. Can he see in the dark, though? He is yeah. a dark elf. He can see in the dark. Okay. He also has okay. a, a lantern with a blue gem that sheds some light in the area, so everybody's able to see this. Okay. Who has the balls to run up to him and scratch his face open while he's picking up the coin? Sorry. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> Me, because I'm in the same cell, so... Yeah, okay, you do it. Well, well wait, why do you expect me to do that? Cause because like we will, we will, he will be watching me because I, he thought I had a plan. But if someone else does it and scratches his face, thus, like making him ugly, he's in the same boat as the other dude, and he might be open to helping us. I have a plan, y'all. Well, I don't. Let's just car caramel. Think about this. I am still a malnourished. Elf. But you're sitting there babbling incoherently and you're fucking a cannibal, so here comes yeah, fresh meat. Well, the thing is, Caramel, hungry. you guys don't know I'm a cannibal. That's why I'm the Melnor. Yeah, but I'm not, not saying like that. The metagaming would be telling you to do. I'm just saying that is something that your character could feasibly do. But is it cannibalism if he's eating anybody that's not a wood elf? Technically, no. You could adapt. Yeah. <laughs> you could adapt. <laughs> that is, no, it's not realistic if I don't eat something of my own species. Starking, I'm relying on you. You'll expect it from me, not yeah. from you. There's also, the thing about me just eating whoever I hate. Do you hate a person? He is one of the people responsible for locking people up. I don't know, maybe he enjoys oh that. We don't, we don't know. He might be neutral to the entire thing. Like, eh, well, this is just life. 
All right. <laughs> but can I attempt something, Coco? No, just someone do my plan. Okay, okay, wait, wait. So, <laughs> Shore has pointed the wand that you guys said everybody back up to the back of the cell. What does everybody do? I'm already all back up. Okay, so Rally is already in the back. The this is the cell is about um, I'm trying to think, fifteen feet, so five meters, uh, back. So okay. So Rally is already back there. Rin, are you walking back? I'm walking to the side. How far away from the gate? Two meters, but against the wall. Yeah, same here. And. He repeats himself to get to the back of the gate. No, back of the cell. Okay. We do that then, I guess. Yes. Okay, and Sorelia, what was it you wanted to try? Well, yeah. cons <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to do now that he just warned us to go back. Um, since it was actually, had actually, actually had something to do with rant. A run, I, or what he was called. Uh, yeah, okay. I, is it something I can try also uh, on this? If well, you could, both, you could try something, but first, um, Sorelli already spoke up, so... Yeah, yeah I know, that's why okay. I'm... That's okay. why I... I'm, I'm gonna attempt this. I, I'm gonna attempt to speak to... Is it Runt? Rent? Oh, no, Runt is the orc, and he is... Yeah. Um, He's not in the cell across from you. He's in the cell beside you. Yeah, well, I'm going to attempt to speak to him in Orkish. Okay. What are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to ask him what treachery did those uh, dark elves use to capture a proud orc like you. All right, roll um, persuasion for flattery. Persuasion. Yes. Okay, then uh, this is going to be fun. This is see if he's going to respond to you, because even though you and speak that, orc, you are a wood elf. Okay, I'm not going to communicate with people anymore. This, two times in a row, I'm trying to communicate and then roll a net one. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious right oh now. My I, I, can, I can screen share to prove. Um, I believe you. Nobody would admit to a net one. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to need you to roll a D100. Uh, roll a 100 side dice and roll. Seventy-three. You got a what? Seventy-three. Yes. <laughs> you did. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. This is um. Uh, how can you maim yourself by talking really bad? <laughs> wait, wait. What? <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, before this happens, Star King, you wanted to do something at the same time. What were you gonna do? I was actually gonna use. Okay. Uh. Okay, no, 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 remember, you don't know what Sorelli is going to do. This is going to happen the same yeah. time Sorelli is doing something. Yeah, I know. This is where it happened. This is what I'm doing because I have a 30 speed. I'm wondering how fast his reaction time is from me to get to the from where I'm standing to the door. Yes! Uh, I basically throw the chain around his neck and start pulling. No! You, you could totally attempt that. Now... This is going to be a because dash he to, action. Because he has to bend over, grab the coin, and that's where I'll throw the chain. Okay. Because I have an acrobatics, dexterity, and then the strength, and plus a 30 speed. So I, I wonder if that's enough to... Okay, now, as a dash action, you could go double your speed. But you are chained, um, but not your legs. Yes. But you are going to be at a disadvantage because he is going to see you doing this that so like he does have a bonus on it. so i am going to roll for his passive perception on okay. advantage so i got that and i got okay i know what he has i need you to roll 
an athletics check at disadvantage to see if you're able to make it. Okay, so athletics, it's strength, so I have a 13 plus 1, and that's a d20? D20. Now, you're rolling okay. this twice and taking the lower number. Okay. Uh, ooh, the first roll is a 5. God damn it! Uh, hope this next roll isn't lower than that. I'm not... Oh my god. Fuck you. God damn it, it's a 20. Wow. <laughs> oh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why can that happen on the reverse? Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can combine some stuff here. Uh, can I help him? Um, because he figured out my plan, so I can help him. Well, it's... If you said this before he rolled, yes. But not after the roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm going to roll... Okay, this is going to see where Cirilla is going to get hurt. Oh, God. I'll <laughs> hurt myself. <laughs> oh, my God. If only you're trying to scratch his face like Rin wanted. Okay, yeah. just as you're about to speak, Star King's character... Uh, what's your name? Uh, Val L. Val L. Yeah. Gets up from a crouching position and tries to sprint. But Shore sees this the moment uh, Val L gets up. He shoots a gooey glob at Val L, which yeah. hits his arm, and the uh, momentum of it throws his body back. The glob ends up like, the glob is on his arm and his fist, which slams into Cerulea's face, knocking out three teeth. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have a list now. Now, for L, is, um, his arm is stuck to Cerulea's face. <laughs> You're still able to breathe, Cerulea. It didn't, hit you, it didn't cover up your nose, but you can taste the blood in your mouth from your missing teeth. There's only three teeth. I'll let you pick which three teeth got knocked out. Um, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Two. It's two teeth that got knocked out. I rolled two. So, um, and what's your character's name again, Sorelia? Uh, Kylora. Kylora. So, Varel is stuck to Kylora with some gooey globs. Shor kind of laughs at the incident, picks up the coin. And puts it into uh, his his belt pouch and walks away. How can I be so unlucky? I don't know. It's... First, I try to communicate with Shusha and, and Stool. In the uh, you terrified Stool. I remember that. I terrified Stool. I. Bad mouth shoes you by mistake. This time, I try to talk to an orc in his native language, and I lose two teeth. And is stuck to stocking. Sorry. It, the dice are not happy with you, and I don't do not know why. Hopefully, <sighs> karma will swing back around, and you start rolling that twenties eventually. Oh, Say it right now that maybe. Or is the final villain? Potentially. It, it depends. There's um, depending on how this entire campaign goes, um, Shore and Ivara could be recurring characters. Okay. Cranky is. I think it's Crank. No, you're not stuck to the wall. It's, Seraph is stuck to the wall. Uh, the Star King and Cerulea are kind of stuck to each other. Hmm. Now, Who's that Lana? I keep forgetting. Who's Seraph? Seraph is the so-called prince, right? No, no. Seraph is a dark elf. The one who's accused of murdering a fellow guard. The Rendo is the prince. Alright. After maybe about a half an hour, you guys are still stuck to each other, but you can kind of feel the goo slowly weakening. You see a light approach the cage, and it is. Man, I just had his name here. It is Jorland, Ivaro's former lover. 
he's walking in with a lantern. And he kind of looks over at everybody, sees the situation. He kind of tries to hold back a chuckle. And in a very low tone, he asks, Who wants to escape? Yes, please, bitch! Are you going to yell that out? <laughs> no, 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 I do not yell that out. Um, I'm in character, in character. Of course, what do you think? I raise my arm. <laughs> in, 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 in my voice? Fuck yeah. Okay. Wait, I raise my arm and I also point at the prince. Yeah, the, the prince nods. Uh, Ront is, you know, he's suspicious, but he kind of like approaches the bars and he nods as well. Uh, Jim Jar, he, he's kind of like, um, he's flipping a rock in his hand as if he's flipping a coin for heads or tails. And he seems very interested. And Bupido, he kind of like raises his arms, kind of like praising the sun. Seeing like, you know, as if like, my time has arrived. Oh, good God. And then he died. <laughs> I'm only yeah. two days away from retirement. Now, Topsy and Turvy, Turvy specifically, and Turvy like has been very quiet and standoffish the entire time, is jumping at the time, is jumping at his chance, like, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here. <laughs> so, everybody's on board with what he just said. I am gonna try, at least. Okay, so he really goes... <laughs> <laughs> I, I might not be... I lost two teeth. By the way, it's the two cheek teeth at the uh, right side, just at the... Oh, well, yeah. Two of the models. Okay. Uh, not models. Morlocks. Well, well you, have, you have a healer with you, so you might be able to get your teeth back. Yeah, well, that's a... Okay, so... Stand magic. He, he kind of comments like he didn't think everybody would be so eager to trust him, but works for, for his advantage. They'll say he's not doing this for you. He just wants Shor and Ivara to look bad. So he doesn't really care what happens to you. Holy fuck. Valid. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can fight that freaking god. He says, um, tonight, like, after everybody's put back into the prison, when, or the cells, when, uh, during the change of the guard, he could leave the gates unlocked and cause a distraction. But that's all he's willing to do. After that, all, all of you could attempt to jump down to the webs over the cliff and make your escape through the tunnels down below. What? Or we can try and find some weapons in those chests first. Um, when you While the other ones are causing a distraction. Are you mentioning the weapons? Yeah. He says, if you want a better chance of survival, you could try to raid the armory above the barracks. They did store many of your, much of your equipment there when you guys were captured. Yeah, these. And um, any, and for the cleric and the wizard, if you go to the Lolf Temple, you might be able to find your magical tombs and such. Okay, fuck. Two places we need to go. But he's not going to help you beyond causing a distraction. You're on your own after that. Okay. That's valid. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> and don't say it like that to him, okay? I'm just... Does anybody else have any I other questions? I from a nap. <laughs> anybody just... Uh, yeah. uh, hold on, hold on. Because of that interaction that I had with uh, the guard, is there any damage to me right now that I need to uh, recover from? Uh, no, just... like, the, right. the, the goo will eventually dissolve itself, but you're fine. Okay. Then I would like to kill kill the, the, the pussy in the, in the cell, so just letting you know. <laughs> wait, wait, do you want to kill Shashar? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kidding, 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 kidding. Are you? <laughs> Are you? Are you? I think so. Kidding. My character doesn't Maybe. dislike Shisha, so I wouldn't kill him. Mm -hmm. No, he's been mm -hmm. but nice, you know. He's just not good in yeah. a fight. Although, I am gonna say this. If I find that god again, I am gonna attempt to kill him. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, um, I think what I what I what I wanted to do is I wanted to kill him for, so really I can eat, where he won't be malnourished when we yeah. do his. Well, stucking the thing is none of you know why I'm malnourished uh, yet. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Meh, yeah. Never mind. Um, he does say like you're you're welcome to uh, fight Jerlin, and as much as um, I mean you you're welcome to fight Shar, but as much as Jerlin hates Shar, Shore, he will admit that Shore is a very competent fighter and he doesn't if you have a chance but he does but if you're welcome to try it will make good for entertainment at least <laughs> yeah although chances are that this Why? Is, sure might be um and dispose of with ivara tonight more reason for this to happen so just to show their incompetence Well, and dispose of means they're going to be banging. And I can, I, uh, minutes or so. can I ask a question real quick, uh, okay. Coco? Uh, because, you know, I got did get hit with that goo. Because I do have an ar arm defense of, you know, level 1, 10 plus, whatever. Could I have avoided that? Um, it, It's like it does. There is a role against your armor class for that. But uh, he has like a plus seven on that attack. So, and I rolled pretty good, so I was going to hit you. Okay. The, the fact oh that you knocked out um, Surreal's tooth, that was simply because Surreal got a, a nat one. Like, so I was just trying no, to yeah. combine those actions. Right. I was just going to, I was asking because I do have that at level one that I can defend on, on armor defense because I don't have armor. Yeah, I was gonna try yeah that just goes straight to your armor class. So your armor class, I think, yep. is a 14. Yep. Okay. Does anybody else have any other questions? No. Good chance to get some information right now. Okay, do we know the way to get above the barracks? Can we see where we need to go? In order to get our weapons. Okay, since um you guys have been in prison, well some I, I think especially you, right? I've been in prison like nine days. Ten right? days now. Ten days. It's ten days now. Okay, so you do know how to get to the barracks. It's it's not a maze in this prison. It's pretty much kind of like mm -hmm. a straight line. Um, most of the prison is up against this cavern wall, and there's a few bridges going across to get to the stalagmites, and the barrack and um, other towers. The barracks are actually on the far south side of the cavern. You are in the near north side of the cavern. So it's a bit of a trip, distance-wise, to get there and not be seen. Are the temples before or after the barracks? The temple is before the barracks. Okay, we need to hit the temple first, guys. Now, now you could just jump directly onto the webs right outside the cages and, you know, take your chances against the spiders. There's Without also, weapons? There's also, <laughs> if you go beyond the guard, the guard tower, there is a lift that will safe you, take, mm -hmm. take you down to the bottom of the cavern. And yeah, avoid the that. And, uh, But that is also like the furthest path to take. Okay. Um, yeah, wait, I'm just going to write this down for a second. Now, if you were, uh, to, take the, if you were to take the weapons, the, the, the web path, you could jump down from the webs into the river down below where there's a waterfall. And make it to land safely through the river, not falling down the waterfall. I mean, yeah, that wouldn't be recommended. Yeah. Okay, I wrote it down. Anyone else have some questions? I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Wait, wait, actually I have a question, if it is something I can ask. Yeah, you can ask whatever you how, want. How light is the area? Okay, What's amongst the, the prison, level? there are small light sources, usually um, it's like glowing fungus or glowing rocks they have up on the walls. So even a person who's like, except for the prison cells, the prison cells are complete darkness. Outside of prison cells, there are small light sources. If you're going to travel to Underdark, you are going to need to find a light source. 
Yes, and you're not going to always find glowing fungus. This glowing fungus does it still grow when it's taken off the walls? Um, let's see. Give me a nature check, so you can understand how this fungus works. Nature check. Oh, no, I haven't saving throw only in that. So just a normal d20. Uh, yeah, d20. Add your nature if you have it. I haven't sadly. Hey. What you get? Twenty. That 20? Else would I make this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold up. There's actually a listing for the types of fungus in here. I'm trying to find it. Uh... Why else would I make such a yeah, no, noise? I would not make that noise for a one. No, uh, well, no. I, I don't want to True, assume. That is too happy. You're making it, when you assume, you just make an ass out of me and you. Alright. Okay, where is the fungus list? Yeah, they go into detail with like a lot of different types of funguses here in the Underdark. So long I know that they will still glow when harvested. Because that's well, if it is, that will be one of the okay, things from I want. What I remember, some will glow for a short time after harvesting. Hmm. But, but, like, like for a couple of days. That's when they harvest on the rock. Okay, for a couple of days. Okay, that's better. Because then I was thinking, so I should actually take a piece of wall, a uh, piece of rock out of the wall with the fungus on it. <laughs> I use that. Let's see. Yeah, it's not harvested, it's still on the rock. It works. Mode travel. Yeah, but if it slows, it still grows after for a couple of days. Yes, yeah, I have a tree's character, wall. which is basically fungus. Yeah. Carrying crawler. And there's so much stuff to go through here. Uh, lava swell. Pursuit. I can't find it. Okay, well, once I find it. Okay, wait, no, yeah, duh, here we go. Um, There is a. Okay, here we go. There is a fungus called the night light. The night light is a tall and tube-shaped bioluminescent, bioluminescent uh, mushroom that grows at a height of, uh, well, anywhere from five to ten feet, or like yeah, two to three meters, and emits a bright light up to fifteen feet and a dim light for additional fifteen feet. So, uh, approximately as bright as a torch. Hmm. Uh. Once it's uprooted and destroyed, it goes dark after one round. Okay, so that's not what you want. Yeah, once you pick that, that just breaks. Uh, that's, uh... Nope. The bio... Ormu. A bioluminescent, uh, A glowing green moss that grows warm in damp areas. It sheds life up to five feet, so like the equivalent of a candle. And can actually be harvested, dried, and made into a phosphorus powder or pigment. There's Tim Musk, also known as the Devil's Mushroom. It's a two foot tall, or like a half a meter, um, toadstool with orange and red stripes across the beige cap. Uprooting or destroying the Tim Musk causes it to expel a 15 foot radius. No, wait, that's a poison cloud. Never mind. There's a tongue uh, of madness. No, I can still use that, even though I'm resistant to it. Resistant or immune? There's a difference. Uh, wait, I think I was immune, uh, uh, immune to disease, resisted to poison and poison damage. Okay, there's a torch stalk, uh, torch stalk, uh, one to foot, two foot tall mushroom, it's combustible, wait, no, this thing explodes. Ooh. Okay, and that's it for the moment, okay, so I was wrong about a glow, I, was, I must be thinking about some rocks, because I know some rocks. Kind of like crystals you could chip off, um, chip pieces off and no glow. And then there's like the edible fungus. Yeah, you guys are going to be going vegan for a while until you find some meat down in the, on the dark. The joke's on you, I don't need food. <laughs> you all got to starve, I've got to be fine. <laughs> Unless I'm rust, but hey. Yeah, you, you need grease. Yeah. Oh. I might not stop. Okay. And of course, it's this good old fashioned fire if you just want to make a torch. Of course, you might want to be careful on fire with webs. But then the spiders will burn too, so that's good. Yeah. They'll burn, you burn, you fall to your deaths. Yeah, Everybody see, has a party. It's all fine. <laughs> It'll be one with stool once again. Yeah, happy ending. That's what you wanted, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he just wants us dead. 
get what I want, you get what you want. Everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be happy, we'll be dead. Oh, so yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's fine. No, uh, guys, such downers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one who put us in there. So, any other questions you guys have? No. No. Not really. Well, my question would actually just be, is it possible we continue the escaping next time, since I have to go? Oh, we gotta go right now? Oh, uh, I need to go to into... Yeah. yeah. I have a baseball game in, in about an hour, so yeah. Okay, well, it's Same been here. two hours. That seems to be uh, our limit. So, no worries. You guys could talk uh, outside the game on a plan on what you could do. Remember, it's going to be when you put it back into your cells tonight, so you still have some stuff you could do <laughs> during that time to try to make your escape more, more advantageous. You scout out places. You could probably even try to steal some stuff. You could try to... Let's like steal all things! There's a lot of things you could do. So you guys could talk amongst yourselves. So then, thank you guys for showing up. I'm going to end the stream right there. Hope are... Oh, yeah. How many people we got watching right now? Let me take a look. 12. Hope, hope 12 people. Well, we're going to go silent right now, so let's see if that, we could double that number. Right? <laughs> um, tomorrow, remember, tomorrow's movie night. We're watching Robot Carnival and place a Jackbox tomorrow. I wanted to play Jackbox since I wasn't going to be working tomorrow. Have you ever seen Robot Carnival, Star King? No. Have you ever seen Heavy Metal? No. Okay. Robot Carnival is a 1987 ap uh, Japanese um, anthology animation based on robots who are like some evil, some good. And it's not like... It's multiple small stories done by different animators. And 40 years later, or almost 40 years later, it's, like, it's still an incredible movie in my humble opinion. I watched it again a few days ago and it's something I really want to share with you guys. Okay, I quickly Google it. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the art style reminds me of Avalon. It, it depends which one you're, t you're looking at. These are, this is like 1987, so a, it is going to be a lot of old art styles. But okay, uh, different animators have like vastly different art styles, and you'll see it when you watch this movie. For example, this one reminds me of uh, Avalon. Oh, yeah. That one is... Uh, Ah, you know what? I, I don't want. I don't want to spoil the emotions I got watching that one. I'm not even going to scroll down because I'm only seeing like eight pictures now, and what I see, I like. Don't spoil it. In fact, like most of the movies, I think, with the exception of one, there is no voice acting. I think one or two of them has voice acting. The rest is just like all silent, like like not silent movies, like a musical kind of thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Fantasia. Yeah, it's a lot like Fantasia. Fantasia was a great movie. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that um, you guys have a great night I'm into the stream see you guys on stream Tuesday everybody else show up tomorrow